Hi, this is going to be a video uh, for how to use the free software called FreeMind. It's a mind mapping piece of software. So first I'll just show you where you can get that from. If you search for FreeMind and that top one there. And in here it'll take you to a page where you can go for a download and then the quickest way is just to go to the download. Obviously you can read the other instructions if you want to and pick the one that's best for whatever you're using. Um, this is the one that I used. So once you've done that, we'll set you up and we'll open up FreeMind. Okay, now you've opened up FreeMind, and you'll be presented with a screen that looks like this one, where you get a new mind map in the middle. If I click on that, then you can rename it. So this is my demo. With this node highlighted, if you press Enter now, you'll see that a new branch sticks out the side and this is where you can start putting your new topics in and press enter to save it. If I press enter again then you get another branch at the same level and again enter again will get me a third one but if you want to move them to the other side or move them up and down maybe I decide actually I want the third one in between here then with the third branch highlighted if you hold control and use a cursor key then you'll see that it swaps them over. If I hold control and press the left cursor key it jumps over to the other side. And this is true for all of them. Um, if you want to move a branch around then you see just hovering to the left or just near the nearest end means that you can grab that and drag them off somewhere else. Let's just close that. And again here I can pop that one up there and maybe make this one lower down. So you get quite a bit of flexibility in where you place them. If you try to move it too close to another one, then it will move that one out of the way for you and tries to keep decent spacing. To add another one onto the end of here, then instead of pressing Enter, I'm going to press the Insert key, and then that moves one out of the end. So this would obviously be a subtopic of some sort. And again, you can move those around where you like. So pressing Enter now, remember that gives me another branch at the same level. So it's my second subtopic. And if I press Insert, then that will stick one out of the end of that. So your two main keys are Enter for the same level, Insert if you want to go to another level. So that's a sub subtopic, I guess. So those are some of the cool things you can do. Um, obviously, again, you can drag these around. They can put them pretty much where you like. And you'll see it's moving that one down out of the way, and creating nice spaces. Okay, in terms of formatting, then, if you right click on a node, then formatting node color does the text. So I can turn the text on that node red if I want to. And you'll see it's gone red. If I do same thing again, right click, format, uh, node background color, then I can change the color of the background for that one. And so if I go over here, you can see that that one's as I set it up. You can also do formatting the edges, so that's the lines themselves. I quite like to make them a bit thicker. And also format the edge color. I don't know why it keeps doing that. Format the edge color, so maybe this particular topic is something that I want to make this whole branch green. And again, you can do that with the other things too. If I just put another branch on the end of here, you can insert pictures if you want to. By insert and then an image. Okay. So I won't do that right now, but it's pretty straightforward. You press um, insert image and then it, it, you get to choose. Um, zooming in and out is just done by this. If your map's getting a bit big, then you may well want to zoom out a bit. I'll just show you a different one I've been working on. <clears throat> this is uh, A-level statistics kind of scheme of work overview. And you can see it was just beginning to creep off the edge of the page. So just zooming out a little bit gives me a bit more space. Here I've put in these books are images because they're books and chapters that I want students to read. But you can see these other little signs here. So if I go back to my other map, 
If you pick any branch, you can put an icon in from down the side here. So because that was my second branch, I might want to call it 2. Um, and I might want to flag that up as being you know, something to be really aware of. Um, it's aimed at businesses, so you get quite a lot of things like, um, you know, remember to do this, remember to send an email and things like that. The flags are kind of quite cool and little people. Uh, any other things really, kind of, if you're doing a really long branch, so third branch is for a really long topic. <clears throat> something like that. Then a nice little thing that you can do is if you pr uh, right click and go for edit the long node and shortcuts alt and enter then you get this here and you can re-chunk it up something like that and then it reformats it for you it's just a bit better I think so the last thing to show you then is how to save them if you want to save this as a project then that's fairly easy and you just go to save or save as and then it will save it in this format uh, something that's more useful to do is to export it but just before you do that if you change the sizing to 400 percent so it's really large I find that if you then export as a JPEG and then you find a place to save it then I find that doing that means that you get a better quality image at the end you get um, much more clarity in the picture if you want to you can also export as things like um, PDF as well um, and you get other options too okay that's the main thing then uh, if you have a play around with it I'm sure you'll find out some things and if there's anything you'd like to know then you can ask me and I'm, I might be able to help you with it thanks for listening